back up. Tell the truth. He's here with us. Dennis Allen, the champion, and of course the challenger today is Chris Manchester. Allen and Manchester. Welcome, lads. <laughs> well, you'll guess by Carol's impersonation, he is from... Uh, he is from Newcastle, <laughs> and uh, but he's spending more time down here in these days in, in Leeds because uh, he got a 58 the first time and a 69 yesterday, so you quite enjoy it, don't you, Dennis, really? Yes, good. You're taking it a bit seriously. You, you, you don't seem very jolly, but I know you're a barman, you've got a jolly face now. Are you feeling a bit jollier? Yes. Yeah, because I bet you're really jolly behind the bar, aren't you? Yes. Of where? Definitely. What, what is it called? It's called the Lonsdale. The Lonsdale, right. Yes. That's where you see Dennis. See him now, of course, for the next half hour. Now you can see Mr. Manchester here, Chris Manchester, who uh, was born in Hertfordshire and now lives in Lanarkshire. So he certainly is a, a, a knight of the shires here. Uh, he's married with two children, works as a child psychologist. He's a fan of Glasgow Rangers, and one of his favourite pastimes is bird watching. So today he's hoping to pee on top form. Pee hen top form. <laughs> don't get it? Switch to teletext, don't get it right. Uh, <laughs> and to turn in a very good performance. Yes, you'll have to turn to Teletext to get the, to get some very peahen top form and to turn in a very good performance. Oh. Ah, now they get it. That's Chris Manchester. You got it, didn't you, Chris? Yes, I did. Certainly did. Good man. Now, on his return to Countdown yesterday, our, nine, our G of the D beat our contestants with the seven-letter word traffic. So, hoping for another A1 performance today and avoiding any jams, it's Richard Ghostlow and Catherine Park. <laughs> good heavens. <laughs> It is a, a joy to be here again. Catherine and I were working out that the last time we did Countdown together, well, apart from yesterday, of course, was 12 years ago? I think it must be that long. She's had two children since that and everything. It's amazing. It's a nice, nice programme. You come back, meet old friends. Nice. Right, Dennis Allen and Chris, both clear thinkers, we hope. Off you go, Dennis. Continent, please, Carol. Thank you, Dennis. We start with D. And the continent. L. And the vowel. The vowel. O. Continent. R. A vowel. I. A continent, please. G. And the vowel. E. A continent. H. And the vowel, please. And A. Thank you. Here we go. Dennis. Six. Chris. A risky seven. Right, here's a six, please. Hulda. As in H O L D E R. Yes. As in Noddy. Yes. Yes, Chris. Glorid. Spell. G L O R I E D. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, Glorid was all we'd got. I'm not sure if Holder would have been allowed. Yes, it must be. Cigarette holder. Yeah. And, and a sort of firework, isn't it? But Glorid is the best. Seven letters. Well done. Well done, Chris. Off the mark straight away. And it's your turn now, Chris. Could I have a consonant, please, Carol? We we'll start with K. And another one, please. S. A consonant. T. And a vowel. E. And another vowel. O. A third vowel. U. A consonant. P. Consonant. N. And consonant, please. And. V. And the clock starts now, chaps. Now, Chris. 
five. Five now. Dennis? Five. Dennis is five. Spout. Big one? Spout. How do you spell that? S P O U T. Spout? Yes. Uh, yes, spout. Chris? I'm upset. <laughs> okay. <laughs> upset and spout. What are you, Richard, for goodness sake? Well, it's all right, because he's a psychologist, so he knows what to do when he's upset. So that's okay. <laughs> um, you just spout a bit, don't you? And then everything's all right. Uh, there are a couple of sixes, I think tokens and spoken. Um, but those, t I mean, those two are absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's there. Well, spoken is about that six, anyhow, isn't it? But uh, yes, but nothing very exciting. No, nothing very exciting. No. Okay, move swiftly on. Dennis's letters, please. A continent, please, Carol. D. A continent. X. A vowel. I. A continent. R. A vowel. E. A consonant. C. A consonant. L. A vowel. A. And a consonant, please. And Y. <laughs> okay. 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 A seven, Chris. Six. Six is Chris. Relayed. Yes, relayed. Now seven from Dennis. Readily. Readily. It's good for seven. So uh, relayed is R E laid again. Yeah. Like that, yeah? L A I D with an R E on the front. Yeah, that's alright. And uh, readily is okay. And there's a word which we'd never heard of and we had to look up, which is radical. R A D I C L E, which is a what? It's the part of a plant embryo that develops into the main root. That's what the word radical comes from. It's to do with roots. Scores then, folks. 12 and 12. What could be better than that? So we now move on to the numbers. And it's uh, Chris's numbers. Could I have three large and three small, please, Ooh. Carol? Right. A few tactics here. Three large and... I think I'll have that one. Three small. And the numbers are six and five, nine and 100, and 75 and 25. And we have a target of 335. Yes, it's 335. 335. So, 335 required. Chris, how many? 349. 349. Well, <laughs> 14 away, so I'm afraid we're out of it with that one, but good try nevertheless. Perhaps it's a difficult one. What about you, Dennis? 335. Ah, 335. Okay, big den, off you go. 5 times 75. Okay, 5 times the 75 is 375. 25. Yep. Plus 9. Plus the nine. Plus six. Is thirty-four. Plus the six, yep. Yeah. Okay. Is the fourteen take that away? Yeah. Absolutely right. Three, three. Good five. man. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. Meet with your approval, madam? It certainly does. I was trying to find uh, an eight to take away from there out of all the other numbers because that would have been then 567s which would give you the right answer but I couldn't find the 8 so there we are well there you are mm. and there you are that's the score 22 and 12 and there you are here's Mr Richard Stilgo to entertain us nice to see that barmen are still good at mental arithmetic because it must be you must be adding up little figures all the time like that and it must help um Chris Manchester anagram Chris Manchester's anagram is 
Uh, well, something you wish people on the 25th of December, which is Christmas and cheer. Uh. <laughs> but also, every now and then you get these smart invitations saying, at home, from ladies with strange names, Sadly, nobody ever goes to her parties because she is called Mrs. Archie Stent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. OK, well, very good, very good. That's it. Uh, hope you stay at home, or if you're watching in a bar, stay in the bar, but stay wherever you are, because we'll be back in part two. Thank you.